Okay, the uh, measurements for the uh, alley dock are very similar to the offset It's in the straight line. It's 12 feet from inside edge to inside edge of cone. The box itself is 40 feet long, but there's a box in the back that's only... Okay, this is the alley dock. Now, the alley dock is the final maneuver that you learn, and the reason that is is because it takes the most finesse. There really is no system to place this in an alley dock. It's really once you've learned how to move your trailer... And so as an alley dock, again, it's a finesse move. You're just watching your trailer. So he's going to back up straight until he gets to a point where he feels that he can start the turn and get the proper angle to go straight into the box. He's giving it some right turn and it's starting to move the trailer slowly to the left. So most people will start with a one turn to the or half turn or some will even start with a quarter turn to the right. All they're attempting to do is to put a small angle in their trailer. Once you get a small angle in your trailer, it's gonna start walking towards the box. Now in this instance, he's actually taking it straight a lot longer, which is also feasible, and then keeping the turn on in the end. Like I said, it's finesse, you do it how you want. As he's angling it, he's trying to... And we go to the back, and you notice here's the three-foot box I was referring to, and the bumper is inside the three-foot box. This is a proper finished position. Take the vehicle out of gear, set your brakes all the way up to the right. Then get back into the vehicle and blow your horn to indicate that you're finished with your maneuver. Okay, uh, as far as pull-ups go on the alley dock, it's like the offset where you have a proper and an improper pull-up. If you do not break the plane with the rear of the trailer, and the plane being the front of the box that you're pulling into, if you do not break the plane with the rear of the trailer, your pull-up must be back in the direction. This instance right here, you can see he's coming in at too sharp of an angle, and his bumper on the passenger side is very close to going out of bounds. If he needs to straighten himself up, at this point, he can pull forward. And he can pull forward in any direction to improve his position. He's going to give it some fun. So on the alley dock, you have two free pull-ups. After that, each pull-up is one point. And you have two get-outs. After the second get-out, your third get-out would be an auto-fail. Your final position, again, would be within the cones in the back. If you are encroaching on any cones, crossing any lines created by any cones,